What's up everybody and today we're doing a new edition of the Tool Duel. I want to know which tool you think wins out of these tools shown in the video. We're looking at power, we're looking at speed, we're looking at price, we're looking at everything but it's up to you to decide which one wins. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Now with that said, let's take a look at the tools that are competing against each other today in today's Tool Duel. So today we have the Rigid Octane Impact Driver going up against the Hitachi slash Matebo 18 volt lithium ion brushless triple hammer impact driver. We're going to look at specs, we're going to look at price, we're going to look at performance. Only one can win this tool duel so it is up to you to vote in the comment section below to tell me who wins. I will also put a link in the description below for each one of these tools. Alright so let's get this duel started. Let's take a look at the size comparison. Rigid Octane obviously much bigger than the Hitachi slash Matebo. The way for the rigid 2.85 pounds you're looking at 129 price range bare tool only you're looking at max 2900 rpm you're also looking at 2400 torque inch pounds now you got a bunch of different modes on this impact you can find them right down here on the control panel right underneath the collet automatic mode works very well on this impact driver i'll show you all that here in a bit you do have the lifetime service agreement from rigid on this tool you have three bright led lights right up on the front you have a dedicated light trigger that will illuminate those lights if you want. Now, though it is a little bit heavier, it does feel really good in the hands. I like the over mold on this impact driver. It has a heavy duty feel to it and it will definitely take abuse out on the site. It does use the Octane Smart battery, but it will also use the regular 18 volt rigid batteries and it has a bunch of torque. So you won't have any issue driving anything into anything. Don't forget to subscribe. Now let's move it on to the Hitachi Matebo. It is brushless just like the Rigid Octane. It is the triple hammer which makes it a little bit louder than the other impacts that I'm used to. You have your battery indicator down there and you can also shut the LED light off or keep it on continuously if you want by pressing that button. You also have the speed controls on the right hand side which I actually like. Without the battery you're only looking at about 1.8 ounces for this impact driver. Maximum RPM you're looking at 2900. Maximum torque in inch pounds you're looking at 1832. Bare tool price, you're looking at 219, so a little bit more expensive than the Rigid. The BPM, you're looking at 4100 max. Just to compare that to the Rigid, Rigid has 3500. Now it does say on the Acme Tool site that this can be powered by the 36 volt battery or the revolutionary multi volt AC adapter. They're both sold separately, so yeah, I think you can plug this one in, and that's with the adapter. And as for warranty, I believe it is a three year limited. Now enough of the yada yada, let's put these things to work. I want to see which one's faster, which one drives these down, which one holds up, which one is better than the other. You decide, but before you do it, don't forget to smash that like button. So the first thing we're going to do is auto mode. All you got to do for the Hitachi is just push that button right there on the side and that brings you right where you need to be. I actually like this because it's not down here where you have to get around the front collet. You just go right up on the side and it's there for you. So again, auto mode first. Now what's nice about the auto mode here is it starts out a little bit quicker and then it goes a little bit slower down towards your material. The only issue is it doesn't stop automatically like the Octane will. Let's go ahead and pull that back up and then we'll move it on to the Alright, let's move it on to the Octane now, the Auto Mode right here. You have a Speed Control and your Mode Control. We're already in the Auto Mode. Let's see what it does. And it stops automatically. You can see it pulls it out real nice and slow. And again, very controlled. Starts out quick and then goes down hard again. Stops automatically. All right, now we're going to bump this up to speed one, mode one on the Octane. We're going to drag this down here and then we're going to move it on to the Hitachi. All right, very slow, very controlled. All right, now the Hitachi. Feels like a lot more impacts per minute. And by the looks of it in the video, it does look like a little bit quicker. Now in each mode that we tried with these screws, the Hitachi beat the Rigid in speed. They were both really fast, but the Rigid was obviously slower. 
That said, let's see what the legs do. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, so what we got here is two legs. These are half inch. I'm gonna put the Octane on mode one, the Hitachi on mode one. We're gonna put this on my right hand, my dominant hand, then we'll switch it up. Again, mode one, we're gonna see what happens. You can tell there's a little bit of a difference between the height, but that's just because of the camera perspective. One sitting back a little bit further than the one in the front. All right, count of three. One, two, three. All right, Tachi definitely taking it on the mode one. A lot faster, rigid, barely spinning on the mode one right here. All right, so now we're gonna move it to mode two. These are both equally set up in height. Mode two on the rigid, mode two on the Hitachi. Again, let's try this again. One, two, three. Tachi definitely going a little quicker. Hitachi taking it in the speed on mode two. All right, so now we're gonna move it up to the mode three. I'm gonna put the rigid octane in the right hand. Then we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna do it again with the Hitachi in the right hand. Again, no pilot holes, no weight on this. It's me standing right here. Get ready to pull the trigger. One, two, three. Hitachi taking it. Now I was gonna throw that Hitachi in my dominant hand, but I really don't think there's any point. I think there's a clear winner here. I wanna know what you think. I think the Hitachi took it. Now, the automatic mode on the rigid, way better in my opinion than the Hitachi Matebo. Matabo? Matebo, Matabo? Definitely has a lot more control in that automatic mode, but when it comes to the blistering speed and just driving those lags down through the tree to 4x4 without any pilot holes, mind you, without any load on it, the Hitachi clearly taking it in every single round, including the round with the screws. Now, you also have to remember there is a price difference when you're looking at 219 compared to 129. Does that play a role? You also got to look at the size. The size in the Rigid Octane, much bigger than the Hitachi. Which one do you think won? Do you think the Metabo Hitachi beat the Rigid Octane? Or do you think the Rigid Octane is going to take this from the Hitachi Metabo? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash that like button. It helps the channel. If you want to see more tool duels, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Come say hi to us on the Instagram page. It's always nice to hear from you over there at Tool Review Zone. And as always, we will be back with more tool reviews soon.